evening, you may not have even noticed it, but shopping in Clark County just got a little bit more expensive. Thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. A sales tax increase went into effect this month. To tell us what that means for your bottom line, here is 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga. Well, Brian and Denise, the sales tax was increased by one eighth of a percent. It's a move that will eventually generate about $54 million. Tonight, we found out where that money is going. How will a sales tax increase affect you? It doesn't seem like much. Let's say you buy a car for $30,000. You'll spend about $37 more. And it is really um, Clark County's most stable revenue source. Um, and it is paid for by everybody and anybody that purchases anything that is non food related. Commissioner Kirkpatrick calls it a small investment on a big return. She's heard the opinions of both sides. I don't really think the money will solve any problem in this case. Probably, perhaps, some of your fiscal responsibility will. The money will go towards early childhood education. <laughs> Workforce development and affordable housing. Affordable housing, and that's an issue that's touching everyone. Seniors today in my district are barely making it. It could help organizations like Nevada Hand. When you only provide investment in and maybe the best areas, you leave a whole, you know, a whole swath of your community behind. And the more you create separation between the haves and the have nots, the worse your community is. There's an opportunity at any point to, of course, raise it if we feel that it is making a big investment. There's also an opportunity to stop collecting it if we feel that it's not doing um, its part. Now, the sales tax will expire in June 2021. Commissioners have agreed to publicly post where the money goes through an online budget database, which will help with accountability.